Welcome back, my YouTube channel subscribers, to Big Bill Anderson's Death Tours. I'm here on April 1st, 2019 at Mountain View Cemetery in San Bernardino, California to pay my respects to two more Earp family members. One is James Earp, who was the eldest brother of the Earps of Wyatt, Morgan, and Virgil, and also a sister, Miss Adelia Edwards, one of the sisters, one of the two daughters that uh, Virginia Cooksey Earp had, along with four sons. So I'm here to pay my respects, and I'll talk a little bit about James and the OK Corral and the Earp family in this video. James Cooksey Earp was born on June 28, 1841, and was a lesser-known older brother of Old West lawman Virgil Earp and lawman gambler Wyatt Earp. Unlike his brothers, he was a saloon keeper. Earp was born in Hartford, Connecticut, and was reared in a tight-knit family environment. In 1861, at age 19, he enlisted in the Union Army at the outbreak of the American Civil War joining Company F, 17th Illinois Infantry, in May of 1861. His brothers Virgil, Newton, also, his brothers Virgil and Newton also enlisted. The 17th Regiment was organized and armed at Alton, Illinois. On October 31, 1861, the unit fought Missouri State Guard forces near Fredericktown, Missouri. Over 60 men were killed or wounded. James was severely wounded in the shoulder and temporarily lost use of his left arm. He remained in the Army for over a year and was discharged in March of 1863 as disabled. Newton and Virgil served until the end of the war. Following the war, James moved around quite frequently, an Earp family trait. He lived in Colton, California. Helena, Montana, Pinesville, Missouri, and worked in a saloon in Wichita, Kansas, and then as a deputy marshal in Dodge City, Kansas, under Marshal Charlie Bassett, who had replaced Ed Masterson after Masterson's murder. He wed the former prostitute Nellie Bessie Ketchum in April of 1873. He had been working in saloons or as a stage and wagon driver during this time. In December of 1879, he and his wife moved to Tombstone in southern Arizona, along with his brothers Wyatt and Virgil. His brothers Warren and Morgan and his wife Louisa joined them there in late 1880. The three younger brothers became involved in law enforcement in Tombstone, while James managed a saloon and worked in a gambling house. He was not present at the gunfight at the OK Corral on October 26, 1881. On December 28, 1881, his brother Virgil Earp was ambushed and shot three times with a shotgun. He survived, but only two months later, on March 18, 1882, his brother Morgan Earp was assassinated in a billiard parlor. The New Mexico and Arizona Railroad ended about 25 miles away in Benson, Arizona. On Sunday, March 19th, Wyatt and James Earp accompanied Morgan's body in a wagon to Benson. There it was loaded on a freight train for immediate shipping to Colton, California. Morgan's wife was already in Colton, waiting uh, as she had traveled there for safety before her husband was killed. James Earp and two or three close friends accompanied by the body to California. Virgil and his wife, Allie Earp, followed the next day on a passenger train. Wyatt Earp and James's younger brother, Warren, with gambler Doc Holliday and gunman Sherman McMaster, Turkey Creek Jack Johnson, and Texas Jack Vermillion, then hunted down those they held responsible for the attacks during the Earp Vendetta ride. Morgan was buried in Colton, California, and James then lived for a short time in Shoshone County, Idaho, until settling permanently by 1890 in California. James Earp died of natural causes in San Bernardino, California on January 25, 1926. 
He is interred here at Mountain View Cemetery. Adelia Douglas Earp was the baby sister of the famed Earp brothers. She was born in Pella, Iowa on June 16, 1861. She was the youngest child of Nicholas and Virginia Earp. Adelia was the only female sibling in the Earp family to survive childhood. There were two other sisters, Mariah Ann, born in 1838, who died as an infant. The second was Martha Elizabeth Earp, who died of typhus fever on May 26, 1856, at the age of 10. When Adelia was only three years old, the Earp family journeyed to California in covered wagons. On May 12, 1864, the Earp family departed Pella, Iowa. They took their children James, Wyatt, Morgan, Warren, and Adelia. The driving was largely done by Father Nicholas and son James. Wyatt was 16 years old at the time and assigned chores including babysitting with Adelia, fetching water and food, and being a relief driver. The Earps arrived at their destination of San Bernardino, California on December 17, 1864. Nicholas Earp rented a farm on the banks of the Santa Ana River near present-day Redlands, California. Adelia married William Thomas Edwards in Rice County, Kansas in 1877. The couple had three children. There is very little historical information written about Adelia Earp. However, in a letter Adelia wrote, there is mention of her brother Warren Earp staying with her in Colton, California during the summer of 1881. Adelia wrote that Warren was suffering from a wound he received in the fight with rustlers on the Mexican border. Warren was living with Adelia when his three older brothers, Wyatt, Virgil, and Morgan, and Doc Holliday were involved in the famous gunfight at the O.K. Corral. Adelia died in San Bernardino, California on January 16th of 1941. On November 11th, 1947, Adelia's sister-in-law, Alvira Allie Earp, Virgil Earp's widow, died in Los Angeles at the age of 98. Allie's ashes were interred with Adelia, her best friend in her later years of life. Virgil Earp was driving a stagecoach in 1874 when he arrived in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Shaking the dust off his clothes, Virgil entered the planter's house, a well-known eatery, and the six-footer instantly saw five-foot Allie, who was a waitress. When their eyes locked onto each other, it was love at first sight for the both of them. Allie had no idea what lay ahead. No matter her love for Verge would ride out the storm. She was born outside of Omaha, Nebraska, her birthday date is in dispute. Her mother died when she was nine years old and she worked at an early age to provide for herself. Allie was soon caught up in the Earp wanderlust. She and Virgil traveled by a wagon train to Dodge and were met on the street by Wyatt and Morgan. They wintered in Kansas and then pushed on at a rate of 15 miles a day along the Santa Fe Trail and ended up in Prescott, Arizona on July 4th of 1877. Once there, Virgil got involved in law enforcement. Virgil wrote his brothers about the opportunities in a new Arizona silver camp. Wyatt and his wife Maddie made the trek from Dodge to Prescott. In their company was older brother James and a friend of Wyatt's, an often inebriated dentist named John Henry Doc Holliday, and his companion who was using the name Kate. While Doc settled in Prescott to play cards, the Earps pushed on to Tombstone in December of 1879. Wyatt rode some shotgun for Wells Fargo and Virgil did law work for the town. Brother Morgan joined them later and then came Doc Holliday and Kate as well. Allie and Wyatt's wife, Maddie, became very close friends. 
The men buried themselves with gambling franchises and mining speculation. Maddie and Allie shared a familiar position among the Earps. They were common-in-law wives, as neither had any record of a ceremony, although both called themselves Mrs. Earp. Tombstone proved to be very costly to the Earps. Morgan and Virgil suffered wounds in the October 80, 1881 gunfight at the O.K. Corral. Verge with a ball through his calf, barely recovering from the shooting, was then ambushed in December of 1881 and permanently lost the use of his left arm. During the operation, he told Allie, Don't worry, I still have one good arm to hug you with. Morgan fared far worse as he was murdered in March of 1882. While Wyatt was combing Cochise and Pima counties for Morgan's killers, Verge and Allie went by train to Colton, California. Allie spent months devoted to Virgil's recovery. They would spend the rest of their lives together seeking fortune in various boom towns, but always using Los Angeles as their roots. Virgil died of pneumonia in Goldfield, Nevada in 1905. Allie, in an interview, recalled that Virgil sat up in bed and asked for a cigar. After a puff or two, he collapsed and died. Allie would grieve for him the rest of her life. Having little funds, she would depend heavily on the Earp relatives for sanctuary. Elvira Sullivan Earp, known as Allie, died at noon on October 14th. 1947 in Los Angeles. She had outlived all the Earp family. Hundreds of mourners attended her service. The Old West had been tamed by then. Allie was a final reminder of the courage and backbone that was often displayed by women of her time. I want to thank you all for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, Ring the notification bell for future videos. And have a great day, my friends. Adios.